Hey guys, John from The John Muir Show here. Uh, you know how on the left there has been so much outrage for the past roughly week and a half because of President Trump's comments about uh, the four far left Democrat Congresswomen that refer to themselves as the squad. President Trump's comments which said stuff like, yeah, they really seem to hate the United States of America. Yeah, there's been a lot of outrage about those comments of President Trump's, but for all the outrage, I mean, it sure does seem that these uh, four le far left Congresswomen, uh, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, Rashida Tlaib, Ayanna Presley, and Ilhan Omar, sure really seems there's a lot of evidence to show that they do hate the United States of America and its citizens. Uh, I mean, I got a bunch of examples for you. I, number one, look at the policies that they're trying to push on the United States of America. They are pushing historically destructive policies on the United States, uh, things that have destroyed every country where they've ever been implemented. Things like socialism, things like open borders. If you really loved a country and wanted said country to have a prosperous future, yet you wouldn't be pushing socialism and open borders on said country, but that is exactly what these four members of the squad are doing to the United States. Then why don't we take a look at some individual cases. Uh, Ilhan Omar, uh, the congresswoman who it was uh, reminded to us not that long ago, uh, said that she had a problem with people in the United States demonizing Al-Qaeda, uh, but not demonizing the United States military uh, in the same sense. I mean, that of course is absolutely absurd. And now we had another video just within the past couple of days resurface uh, from 2018, where uh, Congresswoman Omar <laughs> started talking about how the real threat should not be jihadist terrorists in the mind of American citizens. Now, instead of being worried about jihadist terrorists, uh, American citizens should be worried about the threat posed by white men. That now, now, that statement is clearly absurd, and, and it is clearly bigoted, a, a word that perfectly describes one Ilhan Omar. Because look, I, there's a reason that, that so many of us in the United States will demonize all jihadi terrorists. You know why? Because being a jihadi terrorist, being part of that group, it has nothing to do with any of your immutable characteristics. No, you, you know what has everything to do with? That, that, that you go on and, and commit just all these heinous acts of mass violence. That's what gets you in the group of being a jihadi terrorist. So yeah, I will gladly go demonizing all jihadi terrorists for the acts of violence that they engage in. But if you go demonizing all white men, I mean, look, yeah, sure there are some white men who are bad, but there are plenty of white men who are not bad people, plenty of white men who are good, lawful people. And when you go demonizing all white people, like Congresswoman Omar wants us to do, well then yes, you are judging people collectively based on their immutable characteristics. You are being racist. You are being a bigot, which again, Ilhan Omar clearly is something else that President Trump has rightfully stated. And not only is Ilhan Omar a bigot, but her friends in the squad are also bigots. Uh, take a look at the comments of Rashida Tlaib and Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, who repeatedly ha have said disgusting anti-Semitic things, demonizing Jewish people, demonizing Jewish Americans. Look at the bigoted comments of one Ayanna Presley, who not that long ago stated that she has absolutely no use for individuals of color if they don't agree with her far left views, uh, questioning their blackness and their brownness. Uh, I mean, all of these individuals in the squad, they're all bigoted and they all clearly hate the United States of America. I mean, <laughs> the stuff they're doing, it is absolutely absurd. It is disgusting and how anyone can go defending these individuals is just absolutely beyond me. They have proven time and time again that they are un-American. They have proven time and time again that they have no problem demonizing people uh, based, uh, based on, you know, whatever their skin color, whatever the case may be. If anyone disagrees with any of their politics, these four women in the squad go calling that person a racist, even if the conversation had nothing to do with race in the first place. Oh, but please, uh, for all you squad apologists on the left in the media, please keep telling me more about how those four women just love the United States of America. Uh-huh, sure they do. That's all the time that we have for today, but tune into the John Muir Show each and every weekday, 8.40 a.m. on WTAQ, 9 a.m. on WSAU and WHBL. Till next time, I'm out.